Good morning, everybody. This is Joseph Cusick, VP of Wealth and Asset Management at MoneyBlock and TradingBlock.com. Not to sound like a broken record, but the technology sector and the staple sectors continue to be the two strongest overall. Today we have the S&Ps basically waffling around break even, down a little bit as I talk on this, the floor of the CME. But the finance sector is the one that we're watching very closely because this was the one that was lagging quite a bit as far as these large cap sectors are concerned. And after the Fed meet on, met on Wednesday, uh, the finance sector took off. It looks like they are potentially going to be looking at a rate increase going into the end of the year. We'll see. That's a flip of a coin at best right now. But we saw Wednesday's surge in the finance sector is very positive for the overall market. Now, even though there are some weak spots in the market, such as housing and retail and small caps, the strength continues to be in technology. Large cap tech has been driving this market. It's been very positive. Um, and that accounts for about 21% of the S&P 500. So as long as that stays strong, you're gonna see that the S&Ps are gonna stay up at these levels. Now you also want to understand that why we're looking at finances is because it's around 16% of the S&P 500 and consumer staples are around 9%. If you take all those three sectors together, that's 50% of the S&P 500. If that stays positive, if there is momentum, you're going to start to see that this upside is going to continue to have some legs. Now, with that said, let's talk about where we are as far as the cycl cyclicality of the market. Right now, you're seeing that this end of the month that we're getting into, the last couple days in the month of October, we're on the last tr trading day of October, and now we're going into the first trading week of November. This is where the bulls could continue to have some uh, velocity to the upside. But then when we look at the seasonality of this, there could be a pullback. So what we're gonna be watching next week is, is that after the first two new trading days in November, we're gonna to watch to see how the market reacts around Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We could potentially see a pullback. Now that pullback, folks, is not to say that the market is gonna be bullet bearish. Right now, that trend that we saw that was looking like it was gonna to start to transpire in uh, late August, September, uh, and then we had a bit in October, it is just really not coming to fruition. And with 50% of the S&P 500 surging to the upside, we would think that a little bit of a pullback now would be natural as, and it would be helpful because then all of those money managers that have missed this upside surge will be able to get into the market. Keep an eye on volatility as your forecast or your indicator of what's going on and also small caps. That surge earlier this week uh, really took that lagging small cap higher beta sector and started to put it in the lead. As a matter of fact, Wednesday it surged 3%. Those are the two areas that I'm gonna watch as my uh, canary in the coal mine, volatility and small caps. And that's what I'm gonna be watching next week to see if there's any kind of pullback that might be on the, the forefront. All right, folks, that's it for your traders exclusive for the end of the month, October. This is Joe Cusick, Vice President of Wealth and Asset Management at Money Block and Trading Block, wishing you a great rest of the weekend and a great trading week next week.